want to make common cause with other parties, don't you, and groupings to, sure. to try to get this stopped. Uh, what avenues are you going to follow? Well, I was uh, yesterday just down in Swanage, uh, anti-fracking camp. Uh, there they're protesting, they're uh, occupying the land so that the planning permission can't go ahead. Uh, we're supporting groups. We're very pleased that Labour and Lib Dems uh, seem to be shifting their position to where we've been for quite a while. Uh, we want to make common cause. We want to have a cross-party uh, really forced to hold up fracking. And if, if we're going to make you know, progress on yeah. meeting our climate change targets, if we're going to uh, you know, liberate ourselves from climate change, the way to do it is not to dig up more fossil fuels. All right, fuels. but I mean, just on the process, you seem to be talking about a twin-track approach then, a parliamentary approach, a legal approach, well, maybe a triple-track approach then, and direct action. Well, we've never been afraid. You know, Caroline Lucas uh, was arrested at an anti-fracking protest. Uh, we are seeing a very interesting uh, revolt, I think, from grassroots. Local people, well, I was with in Swanage yesterday, are local residents who don't want it happening on their doorstep. They don't want it happening in their uh, site of scientific interest on the Purbeck coast. Uh, and we're very happy to, to support their campaigns and to work with them. And I think we're seeing a, a sea change. I think people are getting active around this issue. People are realizing the implications more and more. And of course, there's the parliamentary political route to, to take as well. You know, one of the things about the Green Parties, we do do social movements as well as the hard And the legal politics. route as well. I mean, you're going to take that all the way up to the Supreme Court. I we'll guess, certainly right? be supporting the legal challenges that have been going forward, absolutely, yeah. Now, tell me about this common cause. We're hearing a lot about it when it comes to Brexit. And, you know, join this up for me. I noticed uh, you and, uh, and the SNP and Plaid Cymru issued a statement, didn't you, during the Conservative Party conference about trying to hold the Conservatives to account. I is this the way you see yourself going forward? You mentioned there the Labour Party coming around to your point of view on fracking. There's so many other areas where there seem to be natural crossover. There is natural crossover. We fought the last general election on sending a clear message to Westminster. We got our best ever general election result, and I think that's worked uh, well. We're seeing a lot of the parties now coming around to our positions. There are still huge differences between us and Labour, uh, but where there is common ground, we want to work with people, and we also particularly want to work around the issue of electoral reform. What we saw in the referendum was a clear cry from many parts of the country that people felt they weren't having control. Uh, they're not getting control over fracking. The government's still going in over their heads, over local people. But I think the key to unlocking control is to give people a say in general elections and to change the voting system. Well, tell and me where that, we can agree on that, we'll work with them, definitely. I mean, just on the statement, though, it was only Plaid, the, the Nationalists and the SNP you joined forces with. You keep mentioning Labour and the, the Lib Dems. Why haven't they signed up with you? Sure. I mean, this was off the back of what Caroline had done previously with uh, Nicola and Leanne, and so it was a natural progression. I think we were really disappointed, and this is the difference with, with Labour, was after Amber Rudd's speech we saw uh, a graphic come out from the Labour Party criticising the Conservatives for not cutting migration. And there are real mixed messages coming out of the Labour Party. We want them obviously to shift uh, to a much more pro-migrant position and we'll keep hammering that message away. So I think there are clear differences. We, you know, we want Labour to, to work with us where there's common ground and the Lib Dems too, absolutely. So what's your sense of where this should go with Brexit, how it is now shaped? We know the view of Theresa May, Brexit means Brexit. There'll be no running commentary, so presumably the negotiations take place and then we, the people, the parliamentarians, are told at some point this is the deal we've got. You'd obviously like to shape that deal. How? We would like to shape that deal, but clearly, you know, exactly what you've said we are very concerned about. This is the deal that we've negotiated. You have to take it. I mean, this is not what we were promised during the referendum. We were promised that we would have a chance to take back control. We'd have a greater say if we voted leave. Well, we're not getting that on the terms of Brexit. You know, we want to campaign very, very hard uh, to stay in the single market. We want freedom of movement. We're absolutely unequivocal about that. We want a parliamentary vote and we'd like to uh, also see the country have a greater say through consultation or even through a general election. I mean, these are seismic changes that will affect generations to come. Surely it's important to go to the people and ask them what they think about the terms. But of what about a 